Alrighty, we have a quite a bit of details to go over in today's construction update. I'm gonna give you guys some random facts about things that are going on at Wonderland, things that are potentially about to happen at Canada's Wonderland, and uh, just about the construction over at the restaurant area. Um, but let's get right into it. Why isn't Kingswood's tent taken down quite yet? Well, again, this is going to be a slow land development project. Um, and nothing exciting. There's nothing planned for Kingswood at the moment. Uh, the tent is just coming down because it is unused and there's no reason to have a damaged tent remain up. So the tent will come down similar to other sister parks and then um, potentially a couple years from now we could start to see this land being used for something in the park. Um, outside of that, uh, lots of work going over on at Vortex Hill. There is, from what I'm gathering, removing the sprinkler system and all the electrical from the grass um, land so then they can start to dig up the land. So right now they are just doing land prep, removing the sprinkler systems, removing the electrical. You can see there's holes everywhere. Um, based off of the size and how far down they're going, um, I do suspect this restaurant to take up at least half of Vortex Hill, if not more, in terms of even the pathway that'll go around it, and then Cedar Fair's typical um, kind of land development around projects that they build. Again, Cedar Fair is very famous for beautifying the area around um, attractions or restaurants that they put into their parks. A uh, random fact, Black Hole was repainted uh, last weekend, or right before last weekend. We actually caught it on our last drone update. You can actually go back and watch it, and you'll see them painting it. That was something I didn't know about in the video. But nonetheless, it is finished getting repainted. When will Behemoth get repainted? I have no idea. Is this roller coaster becoming one of the longest um, unpainted roller coasters in the Cedar Fair chain? I have no idea. I'm just kind of spitting that out there. But 2008 to now and no paint touch up? Getting kind of long um, in terms of no uh, paint touch ups. Kind of scaring me a little bit. I don't know if it's because it's expensive and it's over water. So getting a company to go out there and paint it's a little complicated. That's probably part of the reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're getting into that territory where Leviathan's about to hit 10 years. Um, so uh, that's typically when roller coasters do get repainted, 10 years. So the fact that Behemoth hasn't been touched yet and Leviathan's about to hit that year frame where it should start to get a little paint touch up um, is a little shocking. I don't know if there's a bigger um, story or picture to this. Like, are they thinking about re-changing its colors completely? Like, is Action Zone kind of being phased out at Wonderland and they're going to go back to their old era? Um, and does that mean a completely new theme? Uh, again, that's a, a huge stretch and there's no information backing that up. But nonetheless, Mindbusters trains are out of the storage shed as they go back to the maintenance bay on the north end of the park. Um, a lot of you may not know, but what Wonderland does at the end of every season is they take their rides and they completely disassemble the trains and reassemble them to make sure there's no missing parts and that all the parts are in extremely healthy shape and that there's no repairs needed outside of that. Again, if a part looks like it needs repairs, they'll replace it. It's the whole point of taking something apart and rebuilding it. It allows you to completely find any flaws or attention areas that may need attention on that ride. So that's something Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland do every year for rider safety, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, it's an extremely tedious pro uh, process, but uh, extremely safe. Um, so yeah, that was something exciting. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing. There probably is. Um, there are signs. Again, this is another reach. I don't have any confirmation from the park, and I will always communicate um, moving forward if something is a reach or a stretch, my famous saying, take it with a grain of salt, um, or if it is coming from the park. Again, you should always wait for park confirmation or the park to make an announcement um, in terms of anything. But it does look like Skyhawk um, path might open up to connect the two areas. They have set up a construction fence going down along um, the Immelman of Yukon now. So there's an actual metal construction fence, which could be a sign that it's going to open. A lot of people who were at Winterfest last weekend did see Christmas lights down there. Um, so it would make sense. Why else would they set up Christmas lights? But also, why else wouldn't they have it on the park map? So there's two counteracting arguments in terms of will Skyhawk Path open for Winterfest, but they definitely need something to draw more guests down there. I did notice that it is kind of a dead zone by Holly Jolly Trolley. 
um, even Santa's workshop. So definitely they need something down there or better flow to get guests in there instead of that one entryway and one exit way. Some similar mistakes that they made in 2019 that they're probably learning really quickly to fix. So definitely if they open that path, super excited about that. Um, lots of action going on. The electrical company is back on site down by Mindbuster, the trailer that is permanently on site. There are a lot of electrical workers um, from that electrical company that are back on site and moving around and doing work. You're going to see a lot of sound barriers added to the outside of Wonderland moving forward. On the hospital side, you're going to see an actual sound barrier added. And then on the east side of the parking lot facing Jane Street, you're going to see a lot of trees being planted. Um, a lot of them have already been planted, but you're going to see more um, being planted as a sound barrier for the community over there. It is a project that um, Vaughn is actually working on uh, as a sound barrier to protect the, uh, the community around. They're working on it with the highway, Canada's Wonderland, and the hospital. So you're going to see a lot of work around there. Um, in terms of anything else, um, I don't know if any of you watched our Winterfest interview with Grace Peacock but I don't suspect any new rides coming in 2022. I think that Wonderland will be releasing all the restaurant details after Winterfest, but there won't be any ride announcements a part of that. Um, and in terms of 2023, I'm definitely gonna start putting my money down on an action theater dark ride. Um, and that 2024, 2025 will be our roller coaster year. And it's most likely gonna be a mock double launch as they are winter proof. And Wonderland is needing something desperately for Winterfest. Uh, the comments are all over TikTok and social media that people are starting to expect more rides. Again, that's a little outside of Wonderland's control and not their fault, but guests don't understand that. So the Wonderland's definitely going to be looking to adding rides that are more Winterfest proof. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my update, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Have a good weekend. Bye.